I'm Daniel Fleming. I go to Jamestown High School, and this is my project, The Effect of the Fermentation of Different Fruit Juices on Alcohol Level. Adding yeast to fruit causes the yeast to react with the natural sugar in the fruit to create alcohol. My project is important because knowing which fruits can produce alcohol as a sterilizing solution if needed can save lives. This project could speed up the production of disinfectant to make it more efficient. My research question was what fruit can produce the most alcohol in 48 hours? My hypothesis was that if the fruit used has more sugar, then it would produce more alcohol in 48 hours. The variable in my experiment was the fruit used, and my expected outcome was that oranges would produce the most alcohol and blackberries would produce the least. The first step in this experiment is obtaining all of the necessary electronics to build the Raspberry Pi with the MQ3 alcohol detector. Next, you connect everything together using the diagram found at the website linked. Program the sensor with the help of the website linked and open up the programming and edit it to the specifications of your sensor using a data sheet. Next, purchase two boxes of blackberries, one bag of grapes, and four oranges. Mash and measure out three sets of one half of a cup of each fruit. Put the three samples of half of a cup of each fruit into separate bowls, labeling them all. Measure out half of a cup of water. Add half of a tablespoon of instant yeast to each sample of fruit and the sample of water and mix everything. Seal the fruit and the water in bowls using plastic wrap. Measure the amount of alcohol in each sample of fruit and the water every eight hours using one alcohol test strip each time. Track the amount of alcohol through 48 hours or two days. And lastly, properly dispose of the fruit samples in nature when done with the experiment. The MQ3 sensor can get up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, so it was treated with precaution. Electrical components, such as the monitor, that must be treated carefully have been used. The results of this experiment showed that water stayed average at zero parts per million of alcohol throughout the experiment. Oranges got up to 30 parts per million, grapes got up to 60 parts per million, and blackberries got up to 80 parts per million. This data shows us that the blackberries produce the most alcohol and the oranges produce the least. This was the opposite of my prediction. There were three samples of each fruit. These results connect to the procedures because you can see I measured each sample every eight hours. I believe the alcohol testing strips used may have impacted the measurements as they were originally meant to find out the amount of alcohol in breast milk. These results go directly against commonly held beliefs and my hypothesis. Research shows that the fruit with the most sugar should produce the most alcohol, as yeast creates alcohol by consuming sugar. Yet the fruits with the most sugar produce the least alcohol. There could have been errors in measuring the amount of alcohol as the measuring strips were originally meant for use with breast milk. The programming of the sensor was harder than I originally expected. The data did not merit very much between like fruits. Results were affected by the MQ3 gas sensor not being used due to the Raspberry Pi not giving reliable measurements. These results suggest that if one needed alcohol for disinfecting purposes as soon as possible, blackberries create alcohol faster than grapes and oranges. The conclusion of this experiment is that blackberries produce the most alcohol of the three fruits in 48 hours and oranges produce the least. The results answer my research question by saying that blackberries produce the most alcohol in a 48 hour time period. The results go against my hypothesis. Possible ways to fix the problems encountered would be to learn more about programming so the MQ3 gas sensor could be used to more accurately measure the amount of alcohol. The lower amount of alcohol in the orange could suggest that yeast production is affected by acidity. These are my references. I would like to thank my parents for helping me acquire the materials necessary for completing this project. Thank you.